technology is reshaping our lives. It dramatically changed the way we live, the way we learn, the way we work, and the way we communicate. Technology has tremendous potential to connect us with one another. But there are still people who remain unreached, disconnected, and deprived of digital opportunities. TechFred Centers serve as hubs that enable skills training and job opportunities. We have more than 4,000 registered users and about 67% are women and majority composed of students as our beneficiaries. And why women? Because we are gender responsive, so all our programs are aligned with the gender and development program of our province. Na tutunan ko yung ibang skills na dapat sa ibang schools na dapat per years dapat i ano ma ano malang dito na mabilis na mga months, mga three months, mapan malang agad tapos para work agad. This program helped me by finding a job and of course gaining more confidence as well. I was able to gain knowledge about the BPOs. Um, on how does the environment work and how am I going to interact with um, my future customers. As of now, as I have the call center agent, so I see the difference because as of now I'm earning, uh, I'm earning more than I, am, I have earned uh, before as a tricycle driver. Good afternoon and welcome to the webinar series of Negros Occidental Language and Information Technology Center on Visual Graphic Design and 2D Animation. Today, we are going to hear more about the Visual Graphic Design Webinar 9, Introduction to Adobe Illustrator CC. So I know this sounds appealing and very interesting, but before that, we will start this webinar. Let's pause for a moment. Say a prayer and let us all sing the national anthem and the Negros hymn. O labing makagagahom nga amay namun sa langit, may nuklugon nga laon nga tagtugas ang langit, hangin, kalayo, tubig, kagduta. Tanda ining imong timawa, kabay ining pag-ampo, magadulot sa amon sa kabuhi nga himaya. Salamat sa mga bugay na imo ginpaambit sa amon. Salamat sa kabuhi nga ginadulot mo sa amon nga himpit. Salamat sa maayong nga panahon kag ila binagid sang imo katutom sa amon. Bendisyon ni ang imo katawhan. Bendisyon ni ang ila mga palangabuhian. Bendisyon ni ang mga panggas sa amon mga talamnan. Bendisyon ni ang ila nga paglugayawan sa iban nga kapungsuran. Gabay makalabot sila nga walay sablag sa ila pagapadulungan. Kag ila binagid, bindisyon niya ining isla sang negros nga amon na tawahan. Kinahalad namon ang ining pag-ampo para sa imo kadayawan. Noon pa man, malaki na ang naging bahagi ng mga kababaihan sa lipunang Pilipino. Kaisa sila sa marubdob na paghahangad ng kalayaan ng ating lahi. Kabilang sila sa paglinang ng ating makulay na sining at mayamang kultura. 
kasapi sila sa pagtataguyod ng mga adhikain ng kapwa mamamayan at sa pagtugon sa mga pangangailangan ng lipunan. Katuwang sila sa pagtukla sa mga larangan ng agham at medisina. Kapanalig sila sa pagpapairal ng batas, karapatan at katarungan para sa lahat. Kabahagi sila sa paglilingkod sa bayan at sa pagpapanatili ng demokrasyang Pilipino. Sa paglipas ng panahon, hindi nagmaliw ang kanilang pag-ibig sa ating inang bayan. Mga kababayan, ito ang alay ng mga kababaihang Pilipino para sa bayan. Tumayo po tayong lahat at sabay-sabay nating awitin ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Once again, my name is Sally and I am your virtual host. We at Nolotsi are truly delighted. We are immensely happy that you are all joining us today. Nolotsi adopts to the new normal by introducing full online training under the Nevis Occidental Training for Work Scholarship Program through the Office of Honorable Eugenio Sebong Lakson under his seven-point priority agenda, Avance. This webinar, this free webinar, is a pioneering project of Knowledge Tech for Ed Center. We wanted and we are happy to let you know that we are recognized nationally as Outstanding Tech for Ed Center by the Department of Information and Communications Technology and also to Star Our D and contact center services nc2 by tesla that was given to us by tesla and in 2020 we or film segment also recognized or awarded the center as the center of a rather pandemic resilience because of its support 
for teachers and students category. So this webinar is not a tech for center in the province of Negros Occidentals contribution to this time or in this time of uh, pandemic so amidst the spike of the COVID-19 cases in the country and even just here in the province we wanted you to stay at the comfort of your home but at the same time you continue and you enjoy learning with us by attending our knowledge webinar so to join all you need to do is to register once and you will be given to the entire webinar. So you need to sign up for your attendance at the start of the webinar. Right now, please do that. Okay, do your attendance now because it will only be open after an hour. Okay, it will be open for only an hour. So you can find the link in the description box or you may scan the code being flashed on your screen right now. Okay, so two. I'll give you time to do that. So I hope you're done. And uh, later, you may also check the description box for the link. Okay, to participate in the open forum, please find the link as well in the description box. Or you may scan the code flashed on your screen for the open forum. Uh, let's say you have questions for our speakers. So put or drop your questions in this link so that we can read it later and ask our speaker we will also be providing you with digital certificates to those who successfully filled out the attendance and the evaluation okay so you must accomplish the attendance the online attendance provide us your evaluation through the link that will be provided after the webinar okay and your email please make sure that you type in correctly because it might bounce back if you do not type in your email addresses correctly and please take note the evaluation evaluation site will only be open until six in the evening so if you are watching through our facebook live stream please follow our page and give our page a thumbs up and if you are watching through our youtube channel please hit that subscribe button now okay so to welcome you all for today's webinar let us have the leader who encourages everyone to have a positive mindset to inculcate purpose to adapt to the new technologies and learn the past and learn new things our vocational school administrator and at the same time knowledge and tech for center manager Dr. Maria Cristina Orvisido. Good afternoon. Welcome to Knowledge C webinar series. Thank you for being with us in a series of sessions that we have been conducting. This is our way of connecting and engaging with our stakeholders during this pandemic. I hope that you are all well and having a great day. I really appreciate you joining our online sessions and again, we don't want to compromise your health, our health, and the health of the community at large. These webinars are brought to you by the Office of Governor Eugenio Jose Bong Lacson under the Gender and Development Program. Amid the global wave of lockdowns, there is an unprecedented rise in e-learning. The pandemic ushered a pressing need to improve the digital literacy of children, students, teachers, and even parents. To address these challenges, we hosted this webinar series to provide free online learning experience to students, teachers, and all our clients who wanted to make their lockdown experience more productive and meaningful. We believe that we need to adopt a new set of standards in learning. We advocate for adaptive learning and teaching to deliver a custom learning experience that addresses the unique needs of individuals through just-in feedback, pathways, and resources. Our goal is to empower our stakeholders to unlock their creativity, promote inclusiveness, and provide a safe learning experience in a virtual environment. We hope that you will learn a lot from this session, and I urge you to strive for excellence. Don't put limits to yourselves. 
stretch yourselves to the limits and be the person that you want to be. Again, welcome to this webinar. Enjoy learning. Let's stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other. Knowledge inspires. Knowledge cares. Abanse, Negrense. Thank you so much, Dr. Arbicido. Indeed, our goal is to unlock your creativity. So normalcy is not where it is right now without the unwavering support of our provincial government, especially headed by our dear governor, Johan Jose Bong Lakson. So to give us a message on behalf of uh, the governor, let us have the provincial guide focal point system in charge, Ms. Marjan P. Castro. Pleasant greetings, everyone. On behalf of the Provincial Gender and Development Focal Point System, headed by our Governor Eugenio Jose Bong Laksan, I would like to extend our congratulations to all the participants of this webinar organized by the Negros Occidental Language, Information and Technology Center, headed by our innovative school administrator, Dr. Maria Cristina Orbicido, and supported by her dedicated staff. With the increasing cases of COVID-19 in the province and other parts of the country and the world, you, learning at the comforts of your home or wherever you are where you have stable internet connection, is by far the safest way of acquiring knowledge and skills which you can use for future employment or your eventual business in the future. As the Action Officer of the Provincial GAD Focal Point System, I am happy to note that our GAD budget is put to good use and is helping women, youth, and the marginalized sector in maximizing their potentials and in contributing to the economic development of their family. Also, Nulitsi is helping to change gender relations and improve the status of women in our society. Congratulations to Nulitsi and to all the participants for signing up in this course. I hope that you will complete the module, submit the requirements and evaluation so that you will be able to receive your certificates. Malipayon nga adlaw sa inyo tanan and abanse. Negrense. Thank you so much, Mom June Castro. They said passion is the driver that keeps artists to push forward with perseverance every day. It is their belief in their product that allows them to see through to the end, until the end. Like any road, they come across bumps and u turns, but it is ultimately up to them to choose which way to go. Our speaker for today is a passionate and dedicated, not just artist, but as an employee as well. So he is someone who makes sure that the task, all the tasks that is assigned to him will be done in an efficient and timely manner. Seldom you can find a colleague who values his work and is not easily swayed by distractions. And I am really very proud to present to you our speaker for today, Mr. Ian Christian Antonio. Hi, Sir Ian. Hi, Sally. Good afternoon. And also to our participants in the class. Okay. Are you ready? Are you good? Yes, Miss. So I guess. I am ready okay. to present this. this right, that's good to hear. Okay, so Sir Ian, without further ado, take the virtual floor now. Hi, thank you, Ms. Sally. Hi, so again, so uh, good afternoon to, uh, to all of, of our participants here watching in live in uh, FB and also uh, via, via YouTube. I so actually for today's topic, so we have introduction to basic Adobe Illustrator CC. Okay. So when you say Adobe Illustrator, so uh, again, so it's one of the demand uh, used by the industry in, uh, in creating or something making and Victor graphics, a Victor graphics. Okay. So 
Okay, so without further ado, so uh, let's begin. So I will share my screen for my presentation. Okay. Okay, so we have introduction to basic Adobe Illustrator CC. Okay. So our, our objectives for today's webinar, so first is uh, we have to something familiar in the basic tools used uh, in Adobe Illustrator CC. Then the second is uh, uh, we will learn how to create uh, something, uh, vector images uh, with the use of uh, shapes in Illustrator. Okay, so first is uh, let's define the Adobe, Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so I have presentation here. Okay, so what is Adobe Illustrator CC? So again, so remains one of the most widely used pieces of software for graphic designers working with Victor Graphics. Okay? So actually, hanggang ngayon, uh, ito pa rin yung, yung, yung isa sa mga demand na, na, na nagamit when it comes uh, into Victor Graphics. So aside doon sa ano, so aside doon sa current okay? So hanggang ngayon so uh, uh, something uh nagbabago yung version but totally uh, parang ginagamit pa rin ito. Okay? Then is intended for the creation of Victor artwork that cre creates crisp line work, drive-in artwork that can be staged, okay? So something itong ito yung maganda when it comes sa ano, sa Victor applications. Kasi kahit uh, anong scaled mo or something resized mo. So hindi nagbabago yung 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 quality, yung quality. Unlike doon sa ano sa raster applications, yung Photoshop. So yung anon doon sa Photoshop kapag uh, something nag 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 uh, nagre-resize tayo or something nag scaled tayo. So parang ano, parang natatakot ay baka yung yung quality minsan nasisira. Okay. So ito yung maganda when it comes dito sa ano sa uh, Victor uh, Victor applications. So, comprehensive range of tools to aid in, in the creation and editing of digital graphics for multimedia use. Okay. So, uh, when it comes sa uh, tools dito sa ano sa sa Adobe Illustrator. Okay. So, actually, maraming ano, maraming talagang tools na ano na parang ano maka 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 help sa pagwamo ng ano ng ng uh, Victor artwork. Okay, so parang uh, hindi siya masyadong uh, or sabi natin parang wala siyang masyadong limitations. Uh, unlike doon sa ano sa mga uh, free applications na ginagamit na. So ito is marami talaga uh, mar mar maraming talagang magagawa yung ano niya, yung, yung tools niya. Okay? Then Adobe Illustrator is most uh, way in creating for logos. Okay? So kung mahilig ka doon sa ano sa paggawa ng logos. So, okay, so I will truly I suggest ito, yung application nito, yung Adobe Illustrator. Aside doon sa ano, sa Corelco. Then kung mahilig ka gumawa ng ano ng something cartoons, design, so okay, so magagamit mo din itong ano, yung yung Adobe Illustrator. Okay, also for diagrams and charts. Okay, so magagamit mo yung yung AI sa paggawa ng mga diagrams and charts. Okay? Then next, so what is Victor? Okay, so it's a, it's a resolution independent. So, kaya kagina, uh, kanina nung, ano, nung sinabi ko, so kahit anong resize mo, so hindi nang babago yung quality ng Victor. Okay, it can be scaled to any size on any output device at any re resolution without losing its detail or clarity. Okay, Be best choice for type and bold graphics that must retain crisp, crisp lines to vary size. Okay, so kung titingnan mo actually yung ano, yung Victor graphics. So yung yung ano niya, yung yung edge niya or something yung 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 quality niya. So medyo sharp 'yan. Okay. So then yung yung line niya, so titingnan natin something crisp 'yan. Okay, unlike dito, ito is ito yung tinatawag nating raster raster image. Okay, so kung titingnan natin yung yung edge, so made up of pixels. Okay, dito is wala kang makikita pixels. Okay. So, ganyan. So, kapag nag-resize tayo, ito yung yung Victor. So, parang medyo, uh, pero parang meron siyang ano, yung yung calculations na kapag nag-resize tayo, hindi nasisira yung quality niya. No. Ito yung maganda sa, sa Victor graphics. Okay. Then, for the system requirements. Okay. For Windows, so yung processor, so we have Intel Pentium 4 or EMD Atlum 64. Okay. So, 
Actually, it, it depends sa ano, sa versions na ginagamit natin. Okay? But most dito sa ano, sa sa Adobe uh, Adobe version ng uh, CC yung Creative Cloud. Okay, so I can say na medyo mataas yung nare-required na, na, na requirements. Okay. Then we have operating system. Okay, so Okay, we have Microsoft Windows 7 with Service Pack 1, Windows 8, then we have Windows 8.1. So magaran yan sa, sa sa ganito mga operating system. Then for the RAM, so yung minimum requirements, so we have 8 gig of ROM, then yung recommended, uh, especially di, sa, sa version ko na ito, yung, yung Adobe Illustrator CC uh, version 2019. So, I can say na, na kung kayang gawin 16 gig yung RAM, so, re recommended talaga yun. Okay. Then for the hard disk, so we have 2 gig of available hard disk space for installations, then additional free space required for installations. Then, kung meron kayong SSD, so mas ano pa mas mas advantage with the use of uh, Adobe Illustrator. Okay, for the moni monitor solution, so we have 1024 by 768 display. Then yung recommended, okay, so kung kaya 1920 by 1080 na resolutions. Okay, to use touch workspace in Illustrator, so you must have a touch screen enabled tablet. So monitor running Windows 10 or Microsoft Surface Pro 3 recommended. Okay, for GPU or uh, uh, for the video card, so we have uh, OpenGL, okay, for x so optionals. Then to use GPU performance, uh, your Windows should have a minimum of 1 gig of VRAM. So 4 gig is recommended. And your computer must support OpenGL version point, uh, 4.0 or greater. Then for uh, subscription of your uh, applications, so you need uh, internet connections, okay? So, ito yung, ano, yung something minimum requirements uh, for Windows. Then, if you uh, Mac users, then your processor, so we have a multi-core multi, multi -core Intel processor with 64-bit support or uh, ERM-based Apple Silicon processor. Then, for the operating system, so we have Mac OS version 11 Big Sur, or we have Catalina, then we have Mojave. Okay? Then, for the RAM, so... Uh, same din doon sa, ano, sa Windows. So, minimum natin is 8 gig of ROM. Then, recommended natin is we have 16 gig. Okay. Then, for the hard disk, so 3 gig of available hard disk space for installation. Then, additional free space required for installation. Then, kung meron din kayong SSD, so much better. Okay. Then, for the monitor, so we have 24 by 768 display. Then, yung recommended again, so we have 1920 by 1080. Okay, then for the GPU, to use GPU performance, so your Mac should have a minimum of, of uh, 1024 MB of VRAM, then 2 gig is recommended. And your computer must support okay, metal, so metal uh, capable GPU feature is not available to all users as it is being rolled out in paste manner from 16.2 or later. Okay, then for subscription of your uh, applications, then again, so you have uh, so you must have an internet connections, okay? So yan naman yung ano, yung system requirements for Mac, o, Mac OS. Okay, so yung advantage of uh, Victor Graphics, so again, so scalable without resolution locks. Okay, so kahit anong size yung gusto mo, so maliit man yan o malaki, so hindi magbabago yung, ano, yung, yung quality. Then lines are crisp and sharp at any size, okay? So it's good for cartoons or something low cost. Then, print at high resolution, okay? So ito yung maganda, okay? Then, ang maganda pa, so we have smaller file size. Kahit yung laki ng size mo is kagaya ng billboard. So you expect na yung file size niya is maliit lang. Then, good for drawing illustrations, okay? Yan yung advantage na picture graphics. But the disadvantage, the use of vector graphics, okay? So, drawings tend to look flat and cartoon. So, mostly, ganyan talaga yung output mo. Then, hard to produce photorealistic drawings, okay? So, something gusto mo, uh, something realistic na ano, na, na paint or something, uh, gusto mo something photo manipulation or photo editing. So, hindi makakaya na uh, vector applications yan or yung Adobe Illustrator. Instead, kumamit kayo ng Adobe Photoshop, yung raster applications. Okay? Then for the examples, okay, so ito yung 
mga examples ng uh, Adobe Illustrator. Okay? So we have, we can make a logo, okay? we can make uh, something, uh, cartoons na, ano, na, na effects, okay? so we can make character icons, okay? or something infographics na shapes. So maganda yung vector applications, yung Adobe Illustrator. So that's yung ano yung all about doon sa ano, sa sa Adobe Illustrator. Okay. So next is okay so let's okay, mag-start na tayo dito dito sa paggamit ng application. So okay, una so uh, we will try to learn how to set up a document. Okay? So yung gagawin ko so home muna ako. Okay, so okay, so wait lang natin. Ay. Ay, so actually kapag nag-open kayo ng ano, ng, ng Adobe Illustrator. So again, yung version ko is version 2019 ito. Okay. So yung unang makikita nyo, so ito yung ano nyo, yung, yung interface nyo na unang makikita nyo. Okay. So we have dalawang ano dyan, uh, button na pwede natin pinagin. So we have open, then we have create. Nyo. Okay. So when you say open, so it means you have... Uh, something uh, existing na design na, na gusto natin i-update or something i-modify. Okay? So, we'll use Open. But, uh, if you want to create something new, yung ano talaga, yung wala pa talaga. So, ito yung ano, yung, yung kailangan natin. So, we click the create new button. Okay? Or either makikita din natin dito. Dito pwede din. So, click lang yung file. Then, we have new. Okay? So, same lang yung ano nyo, yung, yung uh, function nyo. So, I will click the create new. Okay, so we have, yan, we have property. Okay, so ito, so ito yung mga profile. Okay, so we can make uh, good for mobile. So, lahat dito, ito yung ano, yung, yung mga uh, uh, common na mga uh, size uh, good for mobile. So, we have iPhone X iPhone 8, 7, 6 plus. Then we have also uh, uh, Samsung. Okay. Then we have also Nexus. Okay. So good for mobile. Then if your intention is good for web, so we have profile also good for web. Okay. Then ito naman yung mga available na, ano, na, isa, na, na something sizes. Okay. So we have 1366 by 768 pixels. Then we have uh, 1920 by uh, 1080 pixels. Then we have also 800 by 600 pixels, okay? Then, if you want uh, good for print, so nandito din. So we have uh, sizes for letter A4, legal, tabloid, A3, B4, and B4, okay? Then, if your purpose is good for panon video, okay? So we have the print size uh, presets also. We have HDP, good for uh, 720 na resolutions. Then we have also HDB na good for 1080 na ano na resolutions. Then we have also 40 na na resolutions. Okay, so we have profile. Okay. However, kung hindi mo makikita dito yung intended na size mo, okay. So actually, dito sa right side na ito. So we have property. Okay. First, yung makikita natin dito is we have a uh, title of our document. Okay. Like for example, lagay ako dyan, uh Okay, so exercise one title okay, okay one then we have also units okay so we have points p inches millimeters centimeters so depending doon sa units na gusto mo to make your uh, artwork okay so like for example i want something inches so select ko lang yung inches okay then dito so we have also a uh, good for uh width the size, okay? So, like, for example, yung width na gusto kong gawin is uh, good for uh, 10 inches. Then, we have also height, okay? Na, like, for example, yung height ko is good for 8 inches. So, pwede yan, okay? Then, we have orientations, okay? So, we have portrait, then we have then we have also landscape, okay? When you say portrait, it means yung, yung type ng design mo is something patayo siya. But, uh, when you say landscape, so it means yung uh, type of a type ng design mo is something uh, ano na, pahiga siya. Okay? Then we have artboards. 
number of voids. So like for example, yung canvas na need mo is good for two. So you can change that one. But for now, so I will list one. Okay. Then, okay, so we have also bleed. Okay, so ito mostly ginagamit yung bleed for uh, printing. Okay, but uh, for now, so zero lang muna. So hindi ako gagamit ng, ano, ng bleed. Okay. Then we have advanced options. Okay, so click ko yun yan. So we have, so lalabas yan mga other property. So we have color mode. Okay. So, we have two common color mode na ginagamit. Okay, so kung yung design mo is good for screen, so it means gagamit tayo ng RGB color or red, green, and blue. Then, if your design is good for print, so it means gagamit tayo ng same YK color or say yan magenta, yellow, and black. Okay. So, yeah, like for example, yung gagawin ko is good for screen, so I will choose RGB color. Okay. Then, we have also, okay, resolutions. Uh, so, yung maximum natin, so we have 300 ppi, okay, or pixels per inch, okay. Then, yung pinaka-maliit natin, so we have 72 ppi, okay. So, okay, so I guess, let's see. Gamit ako ng high, so we have 300 ppi, okay. So, okay, so kung okay na yung ano nyo, yung document nyo, okay, so we can click create. Okay, so just click lang yung create. So makikita nyo yung create oh, dito sa, ano, sa ilalim ng uh, property. Okay, so I will click create. Okay, so pupunta na tayo doon sa main na interface ng Adobe Illustrator. Okay, then, okay, so uh, next. So tingnan naman, tingnan naman natin yung, yung, yung interface ng Adobe Illustrator. Okay. So, actually, dito sa top, yung tawag namin, ito yung, ano, yung menu bar, okay? Kung saan makikita mo yung file, edit, object type, select effect, view, and video, okay? Like, for example, if you want to save, so, punta lang kayo dito sa may menu bar, then click nyo lang yung file, so, makikita natin yung save, okay? Hindi kaya, uh, kung gusto nyo yung uh, gumamit ng, ano, ng roller, okay? So, okay, so, punta lang dito sa menu bar, then click lang yung view, then you can enable, yung roller. Okay? So, nandito yung roller. Okay? So, click lang. Okay. So, nalabas na yung roller. Okay? So, hide ko lang muna. Okay? Then, sa ilalim na ito, so, yung tawag natin dito is ito yung uh, control panel. Control panel bar. Okay? So, yung purpose nito is uh, kapag gumagamit tayo ng tools, yung mga property ng tools. So, dito natin makikita. Okay? Okay, like for example, I will select the shape of a rectangle. Okay. Oops, sorry. Okay, so one, so kung titignan natin, so nag-iiba din yung property ng control bar natin. Okay. Then, in the left side, so tawag natin dito, so yung, ito yung toolbars. Okay. So lahat ng tools na pwede natin gamitin dito, so dito nila makikita sa left side nito, sa toolbar nito. Then, dito, so makikita din natin yung fill and stroke kung saan pwede tayong uh, magkulay ng shape. Okay, so dito nyo rin makikita sa sa, sa toolbars. Okay, then sa ilalim, so we have status bar. Like for example, so yung ginagamit ko is rectangle. So dito makikita ko so sa, status, sa status bar na yung ginagamit ko is rectangle. Okay, then we have also dito, so we have panels. Okay. So aside dito, for the property of our tools. So, dito makikita din natin. Okay? So, we have like, for example, uh, dito, so we have layers. Okay? So, dito natin makikita yung layers. Okay? Then, we have preset for brush. Okay? So, dito natin makikita sa ating panels. Okay? Sa right portion ng Adobe Illustrator. Okay? Then, we can, okay? Dito sa interface, so we can move that one. Okay? So, Kung parang something hindi kayo, hindi kayo comfortable dito sa, sa interface nito. So, pwede niyan something yung modify. Okay, you can move that one. You can move that one. So, you can move that one. Okay? Then, minsan yung ano natin is parang hindi na tayo palang uh, marunong ano, na something ibalik doon sa, sa, sa default settings. Okay? So, yung gagawin lang kapag uh, gusto niyo yung Ha, uh, ibalik uh, doon sa ano, sa default. So, punta lang punta lang kayo ng window. Okay? So, window makikita niyo ito. Dito sa menu bar. Okay? So, window, 
Then, okay. Punta lang kayo dito sa workspace. Okay. Window, select lang yung workspace. Then, click lang yung reset essentials. Okay. So, automatically, so, babalik yan doon sa default settings. Okay. Then, ito, okay. So, tawag natin dito. Ito na yung, ano, yung art or something canvas. Kung saan tayo uh, nag, nag, uh, nag uh, something nag-create ng shapes or mga images. Okay? Okay, so... The next, so actually for the interface, so pwede natin palitan yung, ano, yung settings. Just go lang dito sa edit. Okay? Dito sa menu bar. Then, punta lang ng, ano, ng, okay? Preferences. Okay? Then, okay? I will select general. Uh, so, sa general, sa general, so, we have uh, other options or something property, like, for example, uh, yung background ko, so, parang, okay, gusto kong palitan, so, parang masyadong bright, so, gusto kong something dark, okay, you can change that one. Hindi kaya kung something, gusto mo something light, ayaw mo naman ng dark, okay, so, we can change that, okay, so, Ito yung dito sa default, okay? Then, we can also change the units. Okay? Like, for example, na-ranges mo. Kanina tayo sa pag-set. Ano, pag so, gusto mo palitan dito uh, centimeters, millimeters, or pitas. So, pwede yan. So, we can change that. Okay? Then, kapag okay na kayo, then press nyo lang yung okay. Okay? So, again, makikita nyo ito into edit. Then, select lang yung preference. Then, we have channel. Okay. Nandiyan lahat yung ibang uh, properties of our interface. Okay? Okay. Then next, okay, so punta na tayo dito sa sh shapes. Okay? So we have different type of shapes. Okay? So dito sa toolbar, okay, yung, yung ano, yung makita, makikita natin yung shapes. Ito yung pinaka-default nyo. Yung icon nyo actually parang rectangle yun. Okay, but... If titingnan natin, parang meron siyang small triangle sa ilalim. So it means we have another kind of shapes. If I hold left click, okay, so we have different type of shapes. Okay, so we have rectangle, rounded rectangle tool, ellipse, polygon, then we have star. Okay, so first, so I will select rectangle. Okay, all, uh, the next all I gonna do actually is I will hold left click okay, from the mouse na gamit ko. Then, I will drag that one into into my art or something canvas. Okay? So, pwede akong makagawa ng something okay, pahiga na rectangle. Di kaya kapag ganyan, so, pwede din ako gumawa ng ano, patay na rectangle. But, if you want something proportion yung ano mo, yung shape mo or something square talaga, yung perfect square talaga, just hold left click lang. Yung ano, yung adjust hold shift key okay doon sa keyboard okay so makakagawa tayo ng square na na shape okay one okay then for the property okay so by the way mag zoom pala is hold lang yung alt then sc uh, scroll down lang mag zoom out okay. if then if you want to zoom in just hold lang yung alt key then doon sa keyboard then zoom in lang okay then for the property, so we have okay, so oh, okay, so so we have uh we can change the size, like for example, so we still could change manually yung size and shape ko. Okay, instead uh na 2.4, so we ko lang one inch, so pidian, then same then dito sa height, okay, so we can change okay the size manually okay so uh, i can put that one so something one inch okay then we have also what else okay position so we have x and y like for example so gusto kong uh move siya into x direction into one inch at one yeah something in y position okay into one inch that one. okay so we have position na uh, X and Y. Then we have also uh, manually rotation. Like for example, I want to rotate my shape into something 45 degrees. Okay, so click lang yung 45 degrees. Then, yan. So, makakuha na ako ng gaya. Okay. 
So we can use manual uh, settings dito sa control panel. Okay, then we have also, okay, control C ko lang to undo. Okay, then we have also, okay, corner type, okay, like for example, into uh, top left na corner. So, again ko lang ng round na uh, something one inch. Yan, okay. Then, gusto din naman, we have also top right. Okay, so this is the top right. Okay, then we have also, okay, bottom left. Okay, this one. And we can also, okay, we have bottom right. Sorry. So, I guess, uh, gawin ko ng uh, top right at 0.5, then yung bottom right. So, gawin ko lang 0.5. Okay, yan. So, we can make another shapes. Okay. Uh, with the use of this. Okay, so we have rounded, na us Rounded na, ano, na settings, okay? Then, we have the print type of, ano, so aside dito sa, ano, sa round, so we can, also, we, we have also inverted, ito yung inverted, okay? So, paloob naman siya doon sa shape. Okay, then we have also chamfer, okay? Yung chamfer, kung titignan, so, nagiging side na siya, okay? Instead na curves, nagiging siya, side na siya. Okay, so, yan yung other property ng shape. So, makikita lang natin dito sa control panel. Okay? Then, next, okay, let's try another shape. So, we have rounded rectangle. Okay? Actually, yung pagkakaiba ng rounded rectangle. Kasi, uh, 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 sa paggawa natin, so, we have something fixed na, ano, na, 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 uh, na round. Okay? Sa gilid yun. But actually, parang same din sila ha ng property ng ano, ng rectangle, rectangle tool natin, okay? So, we have that one. So, we can change the round size, okay? So, like, for example, so, 0.5, same doon sa rectangle. So, pin yan. Then, we have also angle rotations. Then, manually change the width and the height. So, pwede yan, okay? So, same lang sila. Medyo may, ano lang, something pagka, pagka pareho, yung rounded at saka yung rectangle, okay? Then, we have also ellipse, okay? So, same din. So, just hold left click lang. Okay. So, we have that one to create something. Yan. Uh, 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 vertical na, no? Na, na ellipse. Then, we did din tayong gumawa ng horizontal ellipse. But, if you want perfect circle talaga, just hold shift key lang yan. Pa rin. Uh, Doon sa keyboard. So, to make it a uh, perfect circle. Okay? Then, we have also polygon. Okay? So, yung standard niya, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, we have hexagon, but like for example, gusto nyo yung gawing triangle. Okay. So, click lang yung, ano, yung, yung property dito sa control panel. Then, click lang yung shape. Then, uh, as for now, so we have six sides, okay, for hexagon. But like for example, gusto nyo yung gawing pentagon. So, just uh, change lang into five sides. Okay. That one, so we have pentagon. Then, if you want something triangle, just change the new sides into okay, five. So, we can create triangle. Okay? Then, we have also star. Uh, it's actually a star uh, uncommon, uncommon tool na minsan lang ginagamit dito sa illustrator. But, to siya, just hold the click lang and drag. Okay? Then, for the property, okay, so we have uh, X and Y propositions. Then, we can change also the width and the height of our star. Okay? Then, like, for example, so, sa ting gusto nyo damihan yung points ng star, uh, uh, all I gonna do lang is, is double click before, before uh, creating. Just double click lang. Okay? So, lalabas yan yung property ng, ano, ng star. Okay? Then, like, for example, ayaw mo ng 5, so, gawin mo siyang 10. Yan. So, hindi marami na yung, 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 yung points niya. Right. Okay? Then, next. Okay, so we have, we, okay na tayo dito sa shape. Okay, yung clear tool, actually, ang common ito. Saan so, yung naging magamit? Okay, so ito yung clear tool. Okay. So next is, okay, so we will select that one. Pilip ko lang. Okay. So, we, uh, we will tackle naman yung fill and stroke. Okay? Kung ano yung fill at saka yung stroke. Okay, so 
Okay, so straight lang ako ng rectangle tool. Okay, perfect rectangle tool. Okay, when we say fill, actually ito yung color inside uh, in our shape. Okay, so like for example, gusto nyo yung palitan niyong kulay dito sa loob ng shape nyo instead na white. So, punta na kayo dito. Ito yung fill. Okay, just double click lang to change the color. Okay, then nalabas yung picker natin. So, we have U. Okay, we can change the U. Okay, like for example, we want to change into something yellow. That one. Okay, so we have U. Okay, something green. Okay, so drag lang dito. Then select lang yung gusto nyong kulay. Okay, then press lang yung okay. And change that fill color, okay? Or we have also saturation, okay? Gusto mo mo hindi masyadong matingkad na green, okay? You can adjust naman yung saturations. Okay? Like that one. Then we have also brightness, okay? Like for example, gusto mo something dark, okay? That one, we can change that. Okay? Then we have also urge, uh, we can play also into red, green, and blue. Hindi kaya we have... C, M, Y. Kasi yan, magsinta yun lang ka. So, so, we can play that one. Okay. Then, we have also hex. Okay. So, like, for example, you have a specific color talaga. So, you can put dito yung hex number. Okay. So, mas madali siya. Okay. Ito yung tail. Okay. Then, yung stroke naman, ito yung stroke. Okay. When we say stroke naman, ito yung outline sa labas ng ating shape. Okay. Like, for example, gusto kong pantan yung kulay ng stroke ko. Okay? Instead na black, so gusto kong gawin something ito. Okay? Punta lang ako ng yung, then select ko lang yung blue, then press ko lang okay. Okay? If I zoom that one, okay, so, yan siya. Okay? So, makikita natin. Okay? So, ito yung kanina, yung black. Okay? So, palitan natin again. Ito blue. Okay? So, nag-iba na yung kulay ng stroke natin. Okay? Then, like, for example, something gusto nyo, palakin yung width ng stroke natin. Okay. Okay, dito sa may control panel natin. So, ito yung property niya. Okay. So, like, for example, gusto nyo maging 12 points. Yan. So, medyo malaki siya. Okay. Then, 18. Yan. So, medyo malaki siya. Okay. Then, we can also swap the color. Okay. Of fill and stroke. Just click lang dito. We have icon na parang naka siya. If I click that one, so let's pop yung ano, yung, yung, yung colors. Okay? So, yung ano naman, yung fill natin, so nagiging blue. Then, yung outline natin or stroke, so nagiging green. Okay? So, nag-swap sila. Okay? Then, gusto nyo ibalik yung to default. So, dito sa ilalim, so actually, we have default settings. Right? So, just click lang yung object, then click lang yung default settings. Okay? So, mabalik yan into standard yan na na settings. From white na fill, then same thing for black na stroke. Okay? So, yan yung fill and stroke. Okay? Then next, okay, so let's discuss naman yung selections. So, we have uh, selection tools. Okay? Actually, we have two type of selection tools na ginagamit dito sa double string. Okay? Yung itim, okay, ito yung tinatawag natin selection tool. Okay? Then yung white, ito naman yung tinatawag natin direct selection Okay. Yung selection tool, yung itim, okay. So mostly ginagamit natin if we want the the object or image to select, okay. Then to move, okay. So ito yung ginagamit natin yung selection tool, okay. Then we can also resize that one using selection tool, okay. That one, yung width, hindi ko yan resize using selection tool. Then yung height also, okay. So I can resize using selection tool, okay. Then, I can also rotate using selection tool. Okay? Then, like for example, so we have me, we have uh, multiple shapes or objects. I so kung gusto nyo yung select, eh, something select all. So, we have two options here. Either uh, hold ng left click yung selection tool, then drag it on to select all. Okay? And move together. Okay? Or either, yung isang way is, okay, so click, then hold shift key to select. Okay, we have two objects na, na, na kaya natin galawin. Hold shift key, we have three, then hold shift key, hold shift key to select, then hold shift key to, to select. Okay, then if we want something to select natin, just again, hold yung shift key, then 
click lang yung object na gusto natin i-select. Okay? Yan. Okay? So, yung isa, hindi na belong into okay, into this kind of object. Okay? So, yan yung mga way na kung gusto nyo something, uh, mabilis yung pag-select nyo dito sa mga objects. Okay? So, to delete, just select yung object, then press lang yung delete. Okay? Delete, uh, select, then delete. Select, then delete. Select, then delete. Then select, then delete. Okay? Again, I will create. Okay? Click and gone. So, try naman natin gamitin yung direct selection. Okay? So, yung purpose ng direct selection tool, actually, yung main niya, okay, so we can something modify or manipulate the shape or object. Okay, just hold lang yung, just double click lang yung, ano, yung, yung anchor, okay, by holding the click. Okay, so I can, that one, I can modify the shape. Okay. So pwede ko yun, modify yung shape. Okay, so like example, ang gusto maging 3D, Okay, so you can use direct selection tool. Okay, then I note it. Okay, so we can uh, select and delete the anchor with the use of also uh, direct selection tool. Okay, so yan yung pagkaiba ng selection tool at saka yung direct selection tool. Okay. Okay, then next we'll try to discuss naman yung arrange element. Okay? So, yeah. Ito medyo importante ito. Okay? Like, for example, so I have multiple objects. Then, I will fill that one into green. Okay? So, I will create another one. Or, if, if you want, so you can copy-paste. Yung, yung ginagawa ko kapag magka-copy-paste ako. So, select ko muna yung object. Then, just hold Alt key. So, if we try to see, yung cursor ko nagiging dalawa niyan. Okay, naging black at saka naging white. So, kapag nakakita kayo niyang cursor niya yan, it means you can copy uh, an object. Okay, then hold the click and drag. Okay, then release muna. Una yung ano, yung left click before yung uh, alt click. Okay, to copy. Okay, yan. Then, I can change the color into PowerPoint. So, copy-paste lang ako. Okay. Then, this one, I can change the color into something like Okay. So, if we try to see, okay, dito sa, ano, sa artboard ko, yung pinaka-top ko. So, yung, yung object na kulay red. Ito yung pinaka-top ko. Okay. So, because uh, something, okay, tinatabunan niya yung other object. Okay. Then, yung second naman, ito sa object ko. Okay. After niyan. After ni Ryan. So, we have uh, violet. Okay. So, if we try to see, so, natatabunan niya yung green. Okay. Then, yung pinaka-last dito sa, ano, sa arrangement natin, so, ito yung green. Okay. So, if we try to see, so, Okay, natatakpan siya or something natatabunan siya ng dalawang object. Okay, so natatakpan siya ng violet at saka ng red. Okay, so it means ito yung pinakalast. Okay, so to arrange that one, like for example, gusto ko yung, yung green yung pinakatap. Okay, yung gagawin lang, just hold lang yung control, then click lang yung right bracket. Okay, so we can move forward that way. Okay, move forward. Okay, then... Just hold control, then left bracket to move backward. Okay? Move backward, one step, then move backward, one step. Okay? Or either you can also click that one, then right click lang, then punta lang dito sa arrange. Okay? Then you can select bring forward. Okay? So same thing. Okay? So click, arrange, then we have bring forward. Okay? Or also... Okay, so we can arrange the object with the help of layers, okay? So, I will click layers, okay? Then, that one. So, like for example, so, yung violet, okay? So, gusto ko siya yung pinakatap. Okay, just hold the click lang, then drag. 
pataas. Okay? Kung ano yung arrangement dito sa ano, sa layers, kung sino yung pinaka-top dito sa, ano, sa sa layers natin. Dito sa artboard or sa canvas natin. So, ganun din yung arrangement. So, siya yung pinaka-top, then yung yung violet, then yung green yung second, then yung last is yung green. Okay? Then, actually yung layers, uh, okay, ito yung pinaka best way to organize your work. Okay? Like, for example, so, gusto mo something organized yung, yung ano mo, yung paggawa mo ng logo. So, I can say, so, you play with the layers. Okay? Then, layers, okay, so you can hide and then hide object. Then, you can also lock, okay, an object. So, kapag nakalock niyan, okay, so, it's like yung, ano, yung violet. So, wala. Hindi ko siya ma-select. Ma, ma something ma-select. Okay? Kasi nakalock siya. One lock is just click lang yung lock. So, mag-unlock lang yun. Okay? So, again, so we can arrange our objects uh, with the use of uh, keyboard na by holding control at saka yung uh, right bracket to forward and left bracket to backward. Hindi kaya gamit ng layers. Okay? So, pwede yan. Okay? So, okay. So, I guess marunong na tayong ano mag-arrange mag ng ano ng, ng object natin. Then, okay? So, we will try now to combine shapes. Okay? So, Lam na, uh, okay, so na-discuss ko naman yung pinaka-basics. So, uh, try natin. So, create tayo ng, ng, ng isang shape with the use of other shapes. Okay? So, delete ko muna. Okay? So, like example, gawa ko ng uh, uh, isang tools. Okay? Okay, so gamit ako ng ellipse. Then, I will hold shift key. Okay, and drag that one. So, bako lang muna into default. Okay, something... Gusto ko yung branch na, na tool. Okay. Then, gamit ako ng rectangle. Okay. Okay. So, I will drag that one. Papunta dyan. Okay. Then, okay. To align, okay, just select the two object using selection tool. Okay. Select ko nyan or hold ko yung shift key. Then, select ko yung pangalawang shape. Uh, pangalawang shape. Then, sa itas, ito yung mga alignment natin. Okay, so I can align that one into vertical align center. Okay? That one. Okay? Then, I will use okay, polygon. Okay? So, I guess, so, okay na ako dito. Sa hexagon. Okay? Then, snap ko lang yan. Okay? Pampunta siya. Okay? So, by the way, kapag nakakita kayo something meron siyang guide na ganyan yung yung purple na guide so tawag natin diyan is ito yung smart guides okay to enable the smart the smart guides ay okay? punta lang kayo dito sa view then check niyo lang yung smart guide okay actually yung smart guide malaking help talaga ito when it comes into alignment okay yan no? alam ko na center yan because of smart guide okay so one okay then yung pagawin ko, okay, to combine these three shapes, okay, so, with the use of another, with the use of another tool, okay, so, tawag natin dito, ito yung shape builder tool, okay, so, select ko muna lahat, okay, using selection tool, okay, kasi yung shape builder tool, so, nagpa-function lang yan kapag we have more than, uh, uh, two or more than two objects, okay, Kapag isa lang yung object, so hindi magpa-function yung shape builder tool. Okay? Okay, so, yan. So, select ko yung shape builder tool. Then, I will simply hold left click and drag. Papunta dito. Into another object. Okay? So, titingnan natin. Yung ellipse ko at saka yung rectangle ko. So, nag-combine na. Okay? So, gumawa siya ng ito. Ng panibagong shape. Okay. Then, next, okay, to subtract naman, okay, I want to trim this one, okay. So, with the help also with the shape builder tool. So, ngayon, yung icon niya is plus, so it means yung purple, yung function ng shape builder tool ko is to combine the shapes. But if I hold alt key niyan, so nagiging, yung icon niya is nagiging subtract, okay. So, ngayon, yung function niya is to del uh, delete some area, okay. Like, for example, I will delete this one. Okay, by holding Alt key and just uh, click the 
okay, uh, in, in my mouse. Okay. Ayan. Ayan. So, titignan natin. Okay. So, nadelete yung some areas. Okay. Then, all I'm gonna do is to copy na nandito. Kapag na dito. So, I will select that one. Uh, just right click. Okay. Then, punta na kayo dito sa transform. Okay. Then, select ni lang yung reflect. Okay. So, I will reflect that one vertical. Okay. So, para mas mabilis na sa akin. Okay. So, ayaw ko nang gumawa ng isang gantong ano, yung shapes dito. So, baka magkamali pa ako dito sa position. All I'm gonna do is to duplicate na lang with the help of reflect. Okay. So, I will reflect that one into vertical. Okay. I-preview ko niyan. So, ito yung yung ano niya, yung yung output niya. Okay, but I want to copy. Okay, instead of okay. Okay. Kapag okay, so change lang yung position niya. But if I click copy, so magduduplicate yan. Okay, then I will snap that one. Pupunta dyan. Okay, then select all. Okay, then using Shift Builder tool, so I will drag that one. Pupunta dito. So I can make okay, another tool with the help of shapes. Okay? So, one is I can change the color and also if gusto nyo talagang walang kulay yung stroke. Okay? So, click lang dito then we have none. Okay? So, totally walang kulay na yung stroke. Okay? Delete nyo yung okay? Then next, okay? Another shape with the help of other shape, okay? So, want to use ellipse, okay? Okay, gawa ako dyan. Then, default ko lang yan, okay? Then, I will use another shape na ellipse, okay? So, snap ko lang dito. With the help of smart guides, so, alam ko na na, ano, na center ito. Okay, but, kung gusto nyo talagang, ano, sure na sure, or something safe talaga, just click lang yan. Then, uh, press nyo lang yung control R to show the roller. Okay. Then, hold the click dito. Okay. That one. Then, snap into the center. Okay. Then, you can see, so, meron na tayong guide. Okay. Construction guide. Okay. Came from the roller. Okay. Just hold. Again, left click. Then, drag lang papunta dito. Gusto nyo talagang show and share yung, yung alignment. Okay, so gamit tayo ng construction right from the roll. Okay, then that one, so hold na ako dito ng left click and papunta dito. Okay, again, I will hold also left click then papunta dito. Okay, so nakanan lahat yung object ko. Okay, so if we try to see, so wala siyang teal at saka wala siyang stroke. Okay, so click ko lang yung default. Okay, so meron na siyang white peel at saka meron na siyang black stroke. Okay, so para makita ko siya. I will select that one. Okay, then click ko lang yung default. Okay, so, okay, so wala nang purpose. Ito yung construction guide ko. So, I will select that one, then press ko lang yung delete. Okay, select that one, then press ko lang yung delete. Okay, I will select all for the alignment. Okay, one. So, select all by holding left click. And drag. Okay, then I will click horizontal align center naman. Okay, ito siya. Okay. Then, I will use another ellipse na tool. Okay. Then, I will hold Alt key. Okay. So, gusto kong gumawa ng ano, ng something ellipse dito. From the center talaga. Okay. So, ito yung ano niya, yung starting position niya dito. So, I will hold Alt key. Okay. That one. So, yung position niya. Okay. Parang something nakakonsentrate dito sa center. Then, if we want to something proportion, again, just uh, hold shift key. So, dalawa na yung na-hold ko na key from keyboard. Alt at saka yung shift key. Okay. Then, I can make that one. Okay. Then, release that. Okay. Then, to copy, again, just hold alt key to copy. Then, drag lang papunta dito. Okay. Then, select on. Okay. Then I will use the Ship Builder tool to combine. Okay. Then I will combine that one. Okay. Okay. So, nawala siya. So, yung tendency niyan, kapag hindi, kapag uh, merong botas dito sa shape natin, 
Okay, so hindi mo pa-function yung shift filter tool natin. Okay, if I press control Y, so makikita ko ito. So, pretend go test. Okay, so dapat nakasnap yan. Okay, so if I select that one, okay, so kung titignan natin, yan. So, makikita natin na, oh, something malalaman ko na merong butas, okay? Kasi hanggang dito ang area nito, so, okay, yung kulay niya is nag-iitim din, okay? So, hindi magpa-function yung chip builder tool natin. So, all I gonna do, so dapat wala siyang butas, okay? So, yung gagawin ko, okay, so, I will drag that one muna, okay? Then, visually, itan ko lang yung, yung width ng stroke ko. Okay, para at least medyo makita ko talaga yung ano, kapag meron talagang butas. Okay. Ito, 0.25. Okay, so, ito, ito, 0.25. Okay, one. Then, yung gagawin ko, okay, so, okay, resize ko lang dito. Papata dito. Okay, and that one. So, resize ko lang dyan. Okay, so, dapat nakasunod siya. If I press control Y, okay, so, okay lang yan. Papata at least nakaano siya. Ay, wala, walang butas. Okay lang mag lang. Okay. So, so wag lang. So, okay. So, okay. Okay, so, control Y. Ay, okay, so, delete. Ay, okay, so, I will select all. I will use chip builder tool to combine. Ay, okay, so, kung titignan natin. So, okay, every side. So, nasa select yun. Ay, okay, so, it means okay na yung yung, yung plain microchips ko. So, I will drag that one papunta dito. Then, I will drag that one papunta dito. Okay? Then, ito. So, fine. I will stop that one. Okay? So, this one. So, yung overlap. So, okay? So, sabi natin. So, combine na. Combine na lang natin. Oops. Okay? Then, again, so, yung kulay. And dito, okay. We can swap. Nako. Okay. So, we can create another shape with the help of uh, with the help of different kind of shape. Okay. So, we can make yun yan. Okay. Then, dito, also, meron tayong tinatawag na ari. Okay. So, yung ari, so, ipapakita ko. Like, for example, gagawa ko ng something gear. Okay. At that one, I have a uh, perfect circle. Okay. Then, gamit lang ako ng another shape. Okay. That one. So, create ako dyan. Okay. So, align ko lang ito into horizontal align center. That one. Then, ito, yung gagawin ko. Okay. So, something papalibutan niya dito. Okay. Ito. Okay. Okay, so, medyo ano yan, medyo mahirap kapag manual talaga. Okay, like for example, yung, yung gagawin niya is to copy, then to rotate that one. Okay. Ganyan, then, ah, ganyan. Okay. So, yung tendency na siya, kapag itong way, so, yung, 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 ano, yung space between dito sa mga shape nito. So, hindi siya equal. Okay. Instead, so, yung gagawin ko is, gagamit ako na, katawag na, pare. Okay? So, click ko na ito. Okay? Itong object na ito. Then, I will click rotate na tool. Okay? Then, or you can use keyboard. Yung shortcut key yan na R. Okay? So, lalabas na dyan yung, yung center point ng rotation ng, ano, ng, ng object. So, like for example, uh, oops, sorry. I will move yung, yung center point niya dito sa gilid na ito. Okay. Kapag magro-rotate ako, okay, so, if we try to see, yung, yung concentration ng, ano, na, ng rotation ko is, okay, so, nandyan. So, do, kung saan nakaset yung, ano, ako, yung center, center point of rotation ng, ano, ako, ng shape ko. Okay. So, it means kapag change ko nyan, yung, yung, yung center point of rotation niya dito, okay, into the center of our big object. Okay? So, yung nangyayari kapag nag-rotate ako. Yan. So, medyo... Okay? So, medyo madali na lang. So, medyo precise na yung ano. Yung, yung, yung rotation ko. 
Okay? So, okay. Again, so, take ko yan. So, gagamit ako ng ari. I will press R. Okay? Or rotate tool. Para lumabas yung center point uh, uh, center point uh, rotation. Then, I will click dito sa center na ito. Okay? Observe. Again. Okay, so click, press R, okay, so ito siya yung center, okay, I will, okay, I will hold out key first, okay, then I will uh, use left click, okay, so left click ako dito, okay, okay so merong lumabas na something property, okay, so yung purpose ng alt key, actually ito, para lalabas yung property ng rotate tool ko, okay, so yung gagawin ko, so, actually, yung, yung degree ng whole rotation dito is we have 360 degree, right? Okay. And, divide ko lang, okay? Like, for example, is this to ko something, uh, uh, 12, yung, yung kasya yung ano, yung, yung 12 object dito sa gilid na ito. So, divide ko lang into 12 object. And, si, actually, si illustrator na yung, ano, yung, yung bahala sa calculations, okay? Then, Press ko lang yung copy instead na okay. Okay? Copy. Okay? So, nag-duplicate siya. Ganyan. Okay? Then, yung gagawin ko, so, to duplicate another shape or object, so, I will hold control, then press ko lang yung D. Okay? Yan. So, we have, I have third object. Okay? So, another control D, another control D, another control D, another control D. So, automatically na lang yan, okay? So, si illustrator na yung bahala na, 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 na pakasyahin niyan into 12 objects. Okay. okay, that one, that one, control D, control D, control D. Okay. Okay. So, mas madali siya. Ito yung, uh, kapag, kapag gumawa kayo ng something design na ganito, so, umamit kayo na, yung tawag natin. Okay. Ito yung pinakamadaling way design. Okay. Okay. And next, okay. Aside dito sa shape builder tool, so when it comes to combining shapes, okay, we can use also pathfinder. Okay. Like for example, I have two objects. Okay. Yan. Okay. Then isa yung green. Okay. So Yung pathfinder, actually makikita natin dito sa window na ito. Okay. So, I will click window. Then, check lang yung pathfinder. Okay? So, itong pathfinder. So, we have shape, mode, then we have pathfinder. Okay? So, I will select the two objects. So, we have, like, for example, we have unite. Okay? So, if we click unite, so, something uh, they combine the two objects. Ito yung unite, okay? Like, then, like for example, uh, we have minus front, okay? If I click that one, so yung ginagawa ng minus front, so yung back object is nag, nag trim yan based dito sa overlap na ito. Okay? Ito yung overlap. So trim yan, then mawala yung front object. Okay? Like for example, yung kinakihan natin yung, ano, yung overlap, okay? So yung gagawin niya, yung, yung overlap na ito is mag trim yan. Okay? Yan yung minus front. Then we have also something uh in intersect okay yung intersect naman yung sa gitna dito okay okay ito yung matitira okay okay for example that one okay ayun ng okay that one ellipse okay so okay that overlap okay naging itong shape gamit ako ng intersect okay then gamit ako ng rotate tool so snap ko lang dito okay then okay. So, okay. Okay, so, select all. Gamit ako ng intersect. Okay. Select, gamit lang ako ng rotate tool. Okay, so, change ko lang yung center point of rotation niya. Dito, then, hold alt to copy. Okay, then yan. Then again, so, okay, select ko lang yan. Then, example dyan, hold alt to copy. Okay, yan. okay. so, we can create another shape. Okay. Okay. So, yan. Ito yung intersect. 
then if we try to use naman yung okay, I will change ako na that one into something blue okay, yung exclude okay, so parang something uh, alternate ng ano ng intersect yung yung functions yeah so kanina so kinuha niya yung ano yung 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 na, na, naka overlap na object so dito so okay, so something subtract niya yung object then at the same time so naka group yan so we can select right click then ungroup okay to me to separate it okay Okay, then we have also, oops, okay, so, ay, yung, yung, pipe, yung path finder talaga, uh, big help talaga ito when it comes to create something vector graphics, okay? Uh, and then we have also divide, okay? divide actually is, if I click that one, so, first parang hindi natin makikita yung, ano, yung, yung function nyo, but if I ungroup that one, okay, just right click one group, okay? It divide into three objects, okay? Based on sa area na ginawa niya. Okay? Ito yung divide. Okay. Then, copy ko lang yan. Okay? Then, I will change the fill into something green. Okay, like that. Okay. So, we have okay, trim. Okay, so we have two. Yung trim actually parang same din sa sa minus ito. Yung pagkaiba lang. Okay? So, hindi na wala yung front option. Okay? So, I guess we're good na for combining shapes. Okay? Then, next is, okay, so let's discuss how to import the image. Okay, to import the image, okay, so all you gonna do is go lang dito sa file, okay, so then select lang yung place. Okay? Ito yung import. Okay? Like for example, punta ko na desktop, Okay, so we have introduction. Oops. Okay. So, so ano ba yung area? Okay. For example, that one, I will import image. Okay. That one. So, we can resize that one. Okay. So, if I zoom that one, so, this is our straight type. So, kung, kung titignan natin. So, makikita ko yung yung Okay, yung pixels. Okay, unlike dito. So, dito is naka-sharp yun. Hindi kayo makikita. Okay. Then, dito, dito sa version 8, actually, from raster, so, we can convert with into vector. Yung gagawin lang is click yung object. Then, we have also image trace. Okay. So, we have option at once. So maraming option dito sa image trace. Like for, ex like, for example, I want to trace that one into vector into high fidelity po ito. So, we'll select high fidelity. High fidelity po. Okay, so convert nila into XX. Oh, into, into vector na. Okay, kung titingnan ko, okay, so nawala na yung pixels. Okay. So, then, so copy ako dito. Ito yung pixels. If I try to... Ah, if I try to convert that into vector, so all I gonna do is I will click image trace. Okay? So, ito yung pixels, ito yung big. Okay? Then, dito, okay, so, you can ungroup that one. Okay? So, select lang, then, expand muna. Okay? So, like, for example, meron siyang white background. Okay? Meron siyang white background. So, gusto kong kunin yung white background niya. So, yung ginawa ko is, uh, naklik ko yung, ano, yung expand. After expand, just ungroup lang. Okay? Then, yan. Pwede natin yan. Okay. Then also, yan. So, you can manually separate the shapes. Okay. Then you can also change the color of the shapes. Yan. Okay. So, yan yung advantage ng image trace. Okay. Then, to export, okay. So, for example, so meron kang nagawang file na dito na na-design dito. Okay. So, yun. So, yung gagawin lang. So, punta lang dito sa file. Then, yun kang yung export. Okay? Then, export as. Okay. So, you can export into raster applic 
raster images like for example so yung, yung ginawang mong pictures so on change that one to jpeg okay so select lang yung jpeg okay then okay so we have exercise one then export it okay so okay na ako dyan maximum yung quantity so baseline standard okay hi okay impress lang ako okay then punta ko dito sa folder ko or something simple. We'll try to import na lang. Okay? Ito yung Victor. So, import ko siya with the help of place. File, place to import. Okay? Then, ito siya. Okay. If we try to see, so, ito. So, magiging, meron na siyang pixels. So, JPEG is one of file type ng raster in chest. Okay? Ito yung Victor. Okay? Then, like for example, gusto nyo lang yung ito lang, okay? Just select lang yung object, okay? Then, file, export, as, okay? Then, use artboard, okay? Then, export siya. So, exercise 1.1, okay? Let's try to check, file, place, ay, ito na. So, if we try to see, okay? compare kanina. So, lahat sila kahit sa labas ng artboard ko. Pag-export ko. So, totally, lahat sila na export. Okay? But, if you want something selected lang, check lang yung artboard. Okay? And, yeah, kung anong artboard yung gusto mo at kung, an kung anong object na nandun sa artboard na yun, so, yun lang yung masasin. Okay? Okay? Then, Next, so we will try naman yung tree transformation. Okay? So yung, okay, separate mo muna ito, or say, let's say delete. Okay? So file, paste, may import muna ako dito. Okay? okay, so try natin yung tree transformation. Okay? Actually, we have different type of tree transformation tool dito. When you say tree -trans transformation tool, so we can make something a customized shape, okay? Unlike dito, sa shape na ito, so, they have fixed shape na talaga, okay? Like, for example, yung ellipse, okay? Ellipse na talaga yan. So, hindi ko na, uh, something, hindi na ako makagawa na, ano. Hindi ko na something much change yung, yung, yung pag, pag something ellipse niya, okay? Unlike kung, we will use pre-transformation tool, okay? So, punta na lang tayo dito sa pinaka-common talaga na ginagamit na pre-transformation tool. So, we have pen tool, okay? Ito yung pen tool. Like, for example, so I can make, okay, a regular shape, okay, ganyan. So, kapag gumamit ng pen tool, okay, just left click, another left click, to create straight line, another left click, another left click, another left click, another left click, left click, left click, left click, click, okay? So, kagawa ko ng irregular or something customized na shape, okay? Then, for pen tool also, like for example, I want pinakano niya talaga, something, yung, yung main objectives niya talaga, yung main function niya talaga. Okay, so aside dito sa straight line, so if I click and hold, left click and drag, so makagawa ko ng curve na, na shape. Okay, so we have another customized shape na ganito. Okay, using pen tool. Okay. So, yung play transformation tool, it means mostly ginagamit kapag we have to trace something. Okay. Like for example, so, gusto ko trace yung ano, yung, yung itong area na ito. So, from raster, gusto ko siyang gawing vector aside dito sa, ano, sa image trace. Okay. I will use play transformation tool na pin. Okay. Click. And another left click to create straight line, okay? Then, okay, so I will hold the click and drag to create curve, okay? Then, yan na. Then, I can also adjust the anchor point by holding control, okay? Yan. Then, I can also adjust the handle by holding alt. Yan. Okay? Then, yan yan. Then, I will hold the click and drag to make it curve, okay? Ganyan. 
then adjust ko lang yung handle ko. Okay. Yan. Then, hold left click and drag to create a card. Okay, ganyan. Then, adjust ko lang yung handle ko. Okay. Then, hold ko lang yung left click and drag. Okay, yan. Ganyan. So, mostly ginagamit yung pen tool if you want to trace something, okay? So, yung, yung image traced, actually, it, yan yung pinaka-best or something, pinakamadali way to convert the raster into a vector. Pero hindi sa lahat ng images, so makakaya ng image trace. Okay, minsan, so gumagamit tayo ng pen tool. Okay, so to, okay, to get the exact talaga na shape na gusto natin. Okay, so that one. Okay, so if we change the color into block. Okay, so we have a raster images. Ito na yung vector. Yes. Okay. So, yan yung heat transformation tool na ito. Okay. okay. So, for the final, so, see? So, hindi uh, may nakita akong shape from the internet. So, so uh, something graphics. So, yung gagawin ko, I will inter interpret dito sa illustrator. Okay? So, I will use multiple shape again. That one. I will hold Alt key and drag. That one. So, we have multiple ellipse. Then, I will use a rectangle. Okay? So, kapag gumagamit talaga kayo ng i, mostly talaga, yung, 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 yung ano nyo, compare doon sa, ano, sa, sa Photoshop na, na nag-iigat tayo ng, ano, ng, ng photo. Okay. Dito, dito naman, so mostly naglalaro tayo sa shape. Okay? So, one. So, okay. And, I will select all. I will use Pathfinder na lang. Medyo mabilis tayo. Okay? So, okay naman yung Shift Builder 2. Okay? But, I will use Pathfinder na lang. Then, I will click Unite. That one. Then, I will change the color. Okay? Then, I will use the specific color. So, I will change the uh, the hex uh, number dito. So, I will use the F57 I see 19D. Okay? Then, press lang yung okay. Then, I will use another shape. Okay. Apply natin yung, yung na-discuss natin. Okay, that one. Then, maglalagay ako dito ng round. Okay. So, I will go into the shape. Then, I will change the top round corner dito. So, I guess, or uh, pwede naman dito na lang. Okay. Yan. Drag ko lang using selection tool. Okay. Then, I will change the color. So, I will use, again, the specific color. Okay. So, 0, 0. 2, B. Okay. 0. 1. Okay. Then, yung gagawin ko, so, I will arrange it. So, in, ito, gusto ko ito, yung sa ilalim ng uh, itong object ito. Okay. Click, then, I will hold control, then, left wrap. Okay, and then let's be sure pala pala natin. Now, config. And I will hold Alt. So, nag-resize ako. Okay. In the center. So, center. Then, next is, okay, I will trim yung, yung area na ito. Ito, ito. Okay. So, all I gonna do is, I will duplicate that one. So, Control-C to copy. Then, okay, Control-F. Okay, F yung yung gagamitin ko to paste in the same position okay pwede naman yung control b but yung control b ito yung nangyayari okay so um, paste niya pero yung yung gusto ko na sana ito the same positions yung mangyayari okay. instead i will select control c to copy then control f to paste in the same position but okay. if i grab that one actually ito yung shape na yan okay then yung isa yung, yung ito yung gagamitin ko for 
will use shipable day tool. I will hold out P. Okay. That, that next is I will use lips tool. Okay. Okay. Then I will send to back. I hold control then the bracket. Okay. Then I will change the color. Okay. So center na natin. Okay. So pwede na. Select yung galong object. Then horizontal align sa tayo. Okay. Then this one, change ko lang yung color. Okay. Then palitan ko lang ng okay, EF93 okay, so EF937 okay, so actually yung mga color na ito is, so baka nagtataka kayo kung, kung saan ko yung kinuha yung mga color actually naka, nakaset na talaga ito okay, that one then I will use round okay then Okay. Then, I will hold control, then, right. Okay. Then, ito, palitan ko lang ng kulay. Okay. Double click for the P, for the fill. Okay. Then, palitan ko lang ng E. Okay. Six. Okay. So, we have E, six. E. Okay. E. Six. Seven. Okay. So, okay, something uh, something interesting na ano, na okay. One, then B2, so gamit lang ako ng rounded. Okay. Then, using selection tool, so we have a okay, point dito for the round corner. Yan. Then, I will use another shape. Okay, trim that one. So, guide lang ito actually. So, I can use this one to trim this one, okay? With the help of shape builder. Okay, hold ko lang alt key. Okay? Um, hindi ko paano ko lang. Okay, mga kapatid. Okay. Shape builder tool. Okay. 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 Then, I will change the color to white, okay, that one, so only, okay, then this one, so I will use ellipse, okay, and hold shift key, make it proportion, okay, then I will change into black, okay, then click, select two object, then align, horizontal, okay, then I will select two object, then I will hold alt to copy, then I will drag the Then you, okay, you can group that one. Click, select, 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 okay, then right click, okay, then group, okay. Okay, so kapag nagda-drag ako, kahit sino sa nila yung, 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 yung select ko, okay. So, and group that one. Okay, so select that one, then align center, then next, so, then next is, okay, just that one, we can use that one, then, okay, I will rotate that one manually, okay, Hindi naman dito. Sige, dito na lang. Okay. I hold shift key. Okay. Para mag-rotate siya ng 45 degrees. Okay. One. Then, another that one. Then, I will hold shift key. Okay. Well, drag it. Papunta dyan. Okay. Then, dito. Okay. Okay. So, I will use another tool. Uh, another shape. Then change ko lang ito block. Yung gagawin ito actually. So, okay. so drop ako dito na kayo. Yan. Then snap ko lang siya. Okay. Then, 
I will select the three object. Then I will sh select shift delay tool. I will hold Alt to trim. Okay. And also this part. Okay. And two. Okay. So I will use eye drop. Okay. Then okay. so we to change the saturation. Ah, the brightness. Magad na ako ng counting brightness. Okay. Then this one. Let's say. Okay. Okay. I will use eye drop. Okay. Then I will change the brightness. Okay. So, which one? Okay. So, again, I will brightness. Okay. Then hold control. Okay. I will send it back. Okay. Then this one. Okay. Then that one. Okay. Then I will change the yung saturations. Okay. That one. Bit of okay, then I will send it back. Okay. Copy na lang ako dito. Okay. Then, all you need to do is to right click, transform, then we have reflect. Reflect ko lang vertical, then press na ako. Okay. Then, drag ko check. Okay. So, video, hindi lang muna. Okay. So I will use gate for the alignment. Okay. 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 Then next is okay. Okay. So, in and it will oops run down on shape. One, okay, so default, okay, then another circle, okay, one, okay, then another shape, okay, and that one, oops, medyo malaki yun, okay, actually, dapat meron ka talaga yung eye, parang ano na talaga, yung, yung, yung matamis, parang, alam mo na yung ano, yung, yung kapag kahit anong kadaming shape dito, so, ano na, na parang makikita mo yung ano, yung, yung final output mo. Okay. So, dapat karoon ka ng something talent talent. Okay. Okay. Then, all I'm gonna do is select the three, subtract ko lang. Okay. Ito. Then, I will change the color. Okay. I will just eye drop na lang. Then send to the map. So, in the map. Okay, the next is. Okay. Okay, drag na ako dyan. Gamit one. Then again, gamit na ako ng other shape. Okay, cut ito. Okay. So I will stop it here. I will touch it. Then I will change the color. Okay. So I will put it on the other. Okay. Um. It only. Um. I will keep it. Okay, stop ko lang yan. Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay, nandiyan na lang. Okay, then copy ko lang yan. Then, we have to paste that one. Okay. Okay, then I will copy the three of them. Okay, I will use Unite. Window, Pathfinder. Okay, then we have Unite. Okay, then I will change the color into black. Okay, you. So we have now. Okay, then something. Tapin ako ng fail. Okay, so I will use another shape. Rounded. Okay, one. Then I will rotate into something for the previous. Then I will combine 
on with the help of Pathfinder. All right, we'll click in it. All right, then next is simple box. All right, so let's say it's connection. Change, then it will change the fill into something. Okay. Okay, I'm shadow. Ah. Okay, so. Okay, so that one. Okay. Then. No. So we can create this kind of right, image right, in Adobe Illustrator. Right? So I'm putting that. So I'm going to put the sky and character. Right? So lastly, yung are going to do it when you na. So aside doon sa export. So always save your work. Right? So save as, then save lang as. Yung type natin, dapat na kay Eli. Okay? So, save. Okay? Okay, naka-gel pa na perfect. Yung press ko lang, okay. okay. So, it means, kapag close ko ito, okay? File, okay. Then, isa na yung exercise. Okay. Yan. So, anytime, so, I can change or something modify my yung ginawa ko. Okay. Yung ginawa ko Okay, so I guess, so we have 357, so I guess, so yan lang yung, ano, yung presentation ko, or the introduction of basic uh, Adobe Illustrator CC, okay? So, okay, so thank you. So, Ms. Ali. Hello, so Miss Ali, hi. Okay, so Ian, thank you so much. So uh, that was yeah. quite interesting. And uh, actually, um, I was surprised you have a lot of viewers and uh, they have posted a lot of questions for you. So <laughs> <I'm> ready. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> Already, good. Uh, very good. That's nice. But before that, Sir Ian, I would just like to acknowledge our participants from Surigao del Tor State University, BS Computer Science. Wow. wow, there are a lot of them joining us right now. Probably most of them are in third year already and some in fourth year. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope you will join us in our future webinars as well. All right, and uh, we also would like to thank uh, our friends from the Department of Education, Sir Greg, Nam Cheryl, for joining us, and uh, our CCS 178 um, trainees for joining. Thank you. And of course, we are now in the most awaited part. <laughs> The question and answer portion. So I know you're ready, and uh, most of them actually have uh, enjoyed and learned a lot from the presentation. So let's go with the question number one. Okay. The first question for Ian is that how is it or how is Adobe Illustrator different than Adobe and InDesign? This is from Adisil Iros, Korean S. Hamora. Right, so actually, uh, it's a very good question. Like, 
uh, kapag titingnan natin, actually yung both applications, yung Adobe InDesign at saka yung Adobe Illustrator is uh, uh, is uh, vector applications. Okay. Uh, ngunit, okay, actually yung yung Adobe InDesign, so mostly ginagamit yan for publications. Like for example, uh, if, you, if you're targeting creating a magazine okay, or something newspaper, or something uh, poster so you can use adobe design but yung kung target mo talaga yung yung creation ng logos okay, especially combining shapes okay so ito yung pinaka ano talaga yung adobe illustrator especially yung yung mga tools niya we have shape builder tool for for combining shapes na wala dito sa adobe design and meron yung ano yung uh, adobe illustrator pathfinder na wala din dito sa adobe design Okay. Mm -hmm. So, can so, you say yeah. that Adobe Illustrator is more high-end or the more most recent? Uh, depende sa, ano, yeah. sa, sa design. Okay. So, kung yung design mo is logo, yung pinaka-appropriate talaga na application, ito yung, ano, yung Adobe Illustrator. Pero yung, yung, yung design mo is good for magazines, yung pinaka-appropriate naman na, ano, na, na applications, ito yung Adobe InDesign design all right so thank you adesil for your questions now we go to the next uh question uh, what is the difference between a layer and a group okay so actually ito parang tricky din ano, na tanong so okay so actually yung, yung yung both of them so we can say na ginagamit natin for organizing our work okay mm -hmm. so yung pagkakaiba ng ano ng ng layer into a group kasi dito sa layer so we can unhide yung shape na hindi makakaya ng group. Okay. Then we can also lock the shape na hindi makakaya din ng group. Yan yung, I can say, yung, yan yung pinaka-different nilang dalawa. Alright. So I hope that answered your questions. Uh, and uh, we're now to down to question number three. Can you tell us some hmm. useful plugins in Illustrator? Okay, so actually madaming ano, madaming plugins. Like for example, uh, na yung 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 kung mahilig ka yung ano, yung gumamit ng brush tool, then you need another preset for the brush. So, you can use naman ano, yung yung plug. Actually depende talaga sa ano, sa sa isang design na ano, na, uh, na gusto mo. But we can use plugin uh, dito sa Illustrator. Mm -hmm. All right. So thank you, Sir Ian, for that answer. Now, I guess this is an uh, easier question for you to answer. What is better, uh, Photoshop or Illustrator? Uh, actually, it depends on the design itself. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kung yung ano mo, yung 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 purpose mo is photo manipulation, yung water grading or skin retouching, then you must use Adobe Photoshop for raster applications. Then hindi kaya ni Illustrator. Kung gusto mo naman yung like Victor images, ay uh, yung yung icons, yung logos, yung especially yung yung ano yung 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 intended mo is to resize uh, multiple na hindi magbabari yung yung quality niya. Then I recommend na gumamit kayo ng Adobe Illustrator. Okay. okay, so now I know the difference is that Photoshop is for raster, Illustrator yes, exactly. is for vector. Okay. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. I have read something from you. <laughs> Tell you I'm listening. <laughs> All right. So question number five. How do you learn about new te techniques and okay. tools? Actually, kung ano ka talaga, kung like for example, kung graphic designer ka talaga. So you must not stop learning. So yes. so every year is yung Adobe, gumagawa sila ng panibagong versions ng applications nila. Actually yung uh, yung yung pinaka-current na versions ng Illustrator is yung 2021. So it means yung yung ganyang versions naman. Yun. So meron silang something in update na ano na tools or techniques diyan. So mostly yung yung ginagawa ko is nagre-research ako then yung YouTube din diyan. So maraming tutorial diyan sa 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 YouTube na maka help talaga sa inyo when it comes uh, in updating the techniques or yeah, techniques in applications. All right, for our students who are watching us right now, actually you can also go back to our previous uh, webinars 
because uh, Sir Ian and uh, Sir Don was able to present as well a lot of um, topics with regards to Adobe CC, right, Sir Ian? Okay, so yes, we'll proceed to question number six. Good afternoon, Sir. Aside from it is vector-based, what are the additional advantages of Adobe Illustrator yeah. over Photoshop in logo designing? I said, actually, it's a very good question, man. So, yung yung ano talaga yung para sa akin na sa sa tagal ko nang ginagamit yung application nito. Yung pinaka ano yung pinaka uh, additional advantage uh, aside don sa Victor. So, dito kasi sa ano sa 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 uh, uh, Illustrator, meron silang tools na wala si Photoshop, especially wala si Photoshop ng, ng tiyatawag natin ship building tool. Okay? So, it means kung intended ko gumawa ng logo, yung appropriate na talaga na application para sa akin is yung Illustrator. Aside doon sa correct. Okay? Then, most likely, uh, kapag titingnan natin, actually, gumawa yung, yung, yung Adobe uh, with different applications because they know yung, yung mga applications na yan. So, meron talaga mga something na hindi kaya ng isang applications. But again, so para sa akin, yung combining shapes, ito yung additional advantage ng Adobe Illustrator compared doon sa, sa Photoshop. Right. So, Lab, well, I hope yeah. that you were able to uh, hear that and you were able to understand the answer of uh, Sir Ian and I hope that's clear as well. And now we'll proceed to the last question. Uh, finally, we're going to the last <laughs> question, Sir Ian. And you can finally rest. So, there is uh, a follow-up topic of a continuation regarding AI after nito. Actually, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking na gumago, na, yan, na gumawa ng, ano, ng panibagong topic ng using Illustrator. So, uh, yun yung, ano, yung uh, na making a logo uh, in a golden ratio, then in in an isometric type with the use of Adobe Illustrator. So, wow. I, I guess, ano lang, abangan lang nila, Ms. Okay, wow, well, that is something to look forward to, especially for our students who are joining us right now. So, Sir Ian is actually preparing something for you, and probably that would be uh, in the third quarter of this year. Yes, Ms. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so thank you so much, Sir Ian. Would you I like sure to... Yeah, do you have something to say, a parting message for our, especially for our students who are watching right now, from uh, uh, Surigao del Sur. Wow, layo. Tandaki, <laughs> a main campus daw from Tandaki. Yes. Wow. Okay, so actually, yung last na, ano, na message ko sa kanila, if you're very inter interested talaga sa, ano, sa, sa uh, designing, so una, yes, I can say na medyo mahirap, but Actually, if you practice na practice until such time na ma, medyo may improve na yung skills mo. So, probably, uh, hindi naman mahirap matutunan yung mga applications. Okay. Then, same time, kung titingnan natin, so most likely, yung one of the demands sa ngayon is yung design. Okay. So, yan is sad. All right. Thank you so much, Sir Ian. Yes, sir. Thank you so much for the amazing uh, topic that you were able to share with us this afternoon. And uh, we are really excited for the next topic that you will be sharing with us in the future, especially the one that you shared a while ago uh, for the next uh, for the part two of AI. All right. So thank you, Sir Ian. You're welcome, Ms. Okay, so there you go. Uh, before we end this webinar, we have a lot of questions about uh, getting their digital certificates. So I hope that you have filled out the attendance already because that was closed an hour ago. And uh, of course, right now we will be flashing to you the evaluation link where you need to do that in order for you to get a digital certificate. Now flashed on your screen is the evaluation or the QR code. You may scan it right now, or you may also go to the description box where you can find the link 
to the evaluation. So I hope you do that for in order for you to get a digital certificate in introduction to Adobe Illustrator CC. So please type in your name correctly as we will no longer cater change of names due to the wrong spelling of names. And as well, be careful with the spelling of your email addresses so that it won't bounce back. So the evaluation side, please be reminded, it will be open only until 6 in the evening. So once again, we would like to say thank you to all our viewers. Thank you to our department. That are our Department of Education partners and as well as the students from Surigao del Sur. Thank you so much. And we hope to have you again in our future webinars. So that would be um, next uh, week we have scheduled July 20. Please mark your calendar. That would be for 2D animation webinar. That's introduction to Toon Boom harmony okay so see you using the same platform that you are currently using if you have registered definitely you will receive a reminder through your emails okay so that's all for today stay healthy everyone don't forget to wear your mask always and bring your alcohol with you and observe physical distancing okay that's it now to inspire now to cares abance negrense